Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you as we kick off another three-day race week. It's closing weekend of the Royal Palm Meet, and we've got some good two-year-old racing today as well. A couple of maiden special weights, open company, and state breads, and of course the Rainbow Six, too. Race number four kicks it off, an estimated $125,000 in the jackpot, and we've got Pete Aiello upstairs as well with your course and weather conditions. The weather is partly cloudy now, but we've had nothing but rain the last few days, so the main track has been rated sloppy. It has been sealed, but we are washed off the turf today. In race one, scratch number 10, Novelli. Racing at Goldstream. Good start in the middle for Miguel's Bell, who heads off for the early lead. Ridden for position is How About Dat in between horses as both sides. These three almost in complete harmony in the run for the opening 16th. At the rail, it's Major Price and from between horses, Martha May Huvier. Then it's a length back to Numeric together with Burn the Breeze, who's two in front of Patty's having fun. Second last Pola of Trouble and well back early is Moon Rose. 22-2 and two for the opening quarter. They have half a mile to race, and Miguel's Bell has the lead by almost a length. Both sides is there. Second at the rail. That's Major Price at joint third with how about that three wide. Two back to the inside, and Martha May Huvier then burn the breeze. Underway from the back is Patty's having fun, passing Numeric. Still at the back are Pola of Trouble and Moon Rose. Five sixteenths from home, and it's still Miguel's Bell the target. Asked to quicken by Perez is both sides to get within the next second. Looking for a rail run is Sunny on Major Price. Off the turn and the stretch drive, 45 and 4 for a half mile. The Red Sea parts for Major Price, who's up to take charge now. Miguel's Bell is back to second, both sides is third, but inside the final furlong, it's Major Price, who's 9 to 5, and she's kicking clear. Major Price for Sunny Leone and Dave Fox to win the Friday opener by two. Miguel's Bell second. Both sides ran third. Numerics up fourth in a 117 flat. And they're off. Excellent start for Happy Sunday, who caught a flyer and tries to get a clear advantage. But in other words, is up to take over the lead. In other words, sharp early. Back to second is the sharp starting Happy Sunday. And out in the middle is Smile Poe. Wide on the course, Miss Aventina. Then it's back to Boston Tweed and Madame Mitoli. And the early trailer in a long way behind, Spaghetti Tree. To the far turn they go. In other words, has it now by a length and a half. Smile Poe asked to keep up in second at the rail. Happy Sunday, third, Miss Aventina. She's dropped back into fourth. Three wide Boston Tweed at the rail, Madame Mitoli, as they have, in other words, to catch. Confident handling from Edgar Zayas, in other words, has the lead. Off cover, here's Madame Mitoli charging hard for Ferrer. In between horses, Smile Poe back from fourth. Happy Sunday, and they're at the top of the stretch. On the rail, it's still, in other words, in the middle, Smile Poe out in the center, Madame Mitoli, Miguel Vasquez, and Smile Poe rouse forward for the lead. It's Smile Poe in the colors of Brazil stable in front and going away. Smile Poe, Dave Fox wins the early double by three in the end. Up for second is Happy Sunday, back to third, Madame Mitoli. In other words, faded to be four at the 104 and four. Agenda. 
Whether you're new to the world of horse racing or a seasoned professional, we have something for everyone here at the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame. From fine art to legendary artifacts, our mission is to preserve and promote the history of thoroughbred racing in America and honor the sport's most accomplished participants. Open year-round and located on Union Avenue, right across from Saratoga Racecourse, adding to the rich history surrounding the oldest racetrack in America. Visit racingmuseum.org. Level beginning. Good start out wide for Ice the Kicker in the middle. Swashbuckle has speed down at the inside. Three Wolves into the top flight. Shankar is a bit keen. He's angled to the outside for a clear run. Far outside, it's the Mars. Settled well second last. Disattached in the early trailer is Copperlight. And the run around the first turn, it's Swashbuckle and Jonathan Acasio clear a length and a quarter. Ice the Kicker is second from Shankar is a three wide third. At the rail in fourth is three Wolves, followed fifth by Disattached. On his outside is the Mar, and at the back is Copperlight. 24 and 4 for the opening quarter. Down the back stretch they go. Long shot Swashbuckle is the target. He leads by half a length over Ice the Kicker in second. Shankar not getting his trip. He's in the clear three wide in third. At the rail, Three Wolves is now fourth from a well settled disattached. He's racing in the fifth at this stage. Outside is the Mar, and Copperlight is last. They went the half in 48 and 3, and they have less than half a mile to journey. The leader is Swashbuckle, Ice the Kicker is second. Shankar, ridden with some confidence by Van Dyke, he's a three wide third. At the rail, Three Wolves is now fourth. Ridden and asked to improve is disattached ahead of the Mar, and angled to the far outside, the trailer is Copperlight. Around the far turn at the 5 16ths. Here's the move from Shankar. He's up to take the lead. Swashbuckle is up for a fight. Three Wolves looks for racing room. Disattached is underway. Copperlight is on the far outside and they turn for home. It's Shankar the target. Copperlight driving forward on the outside toward the rail. That's Swashbuckle with an eighth of a mile to go. Copperlight driven hard by Edwin G. He's up to take the lead. Toward the inside, it's Swashbuckle fighting the good fight alongside Shankar. But Copperlight's a winner. Copperlight wins by a buck. Two in the end. Shankar second, third was Swashbuckle, fourth was disattached in 141 and 1. Good start inside. Rip riding away. Heads off for the early lead. Matty R is away in good shape. Splitting horses, I'm always thinking. She makes it three across the course early. Settling in at the back, Jazz and Blues, and Cash do. So this favorite, Matty R, has found her way to the lead. She's crossed over now to lead by two with half a mile to race. I'm always thinking is second while angled off the inside. Three better than Rip riding away. At the rail, that's Cash do, And out in the middle, Jazz and Blues. Around the far turn at the 5 16th. Matty R by a length. Under pressure while trying to gain ground as I'm always thinking in second. Third is Rip riding away, floating out Jazz and Blues with Cash Dew toward the rail. They reach the top of the stretch. Zayas tells Matty R it's time to go to work, big girl. She still has the lead from the outside. I'm always thinking is still right there after the leader in second as they straighten for the drive. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go. I'm always thinking will not go away. She's charging hard at Matty R who has the lead. Matty R on the inside, outside. I'm always thinking has gained the upper hand. Matty R with no excuse. I'm always thinking going away for Luca Panici by a length and a half. Matty R was second. Third was Rip riding away in 106 and 3. They're off from 
the rail. Dialific comes out quickly and looks for a clear lead. Splitting horses is Bubbly Champagne. Up on the far outside, Rotundo's going to get floated very wide. Just inside her goes Gossiper, taking back and ducking over was free to roam. Into the top flight went the uncaptured lady. Sarah's Dream settled down behind the embattled duo with Sudoku Terry toward the rail. Miss Holly is second last and Roseview trails as the leader is Dialific. Dialific and Edgar Perez to the backstretch by a neck over the uncaptured lady in second. Out three wide, it's Ponmati. Bubbly champagne between horses. Sarah's dreams along the rail. On the far outside and wide on the course is Gossiper. Then it's back to the inside and free to roam. She angled over. She's in front of Sudoku Terry, who's ahead of Rotundo. Then back to Rose View and Miss Holly toward the back of the group. The quarter time was 24 and 1. Less than five furlongs to run in the race. They went to half in 47 and 3, and they have Dialific to catch. She's in front by a length. The uncaptured lady is second from a patient Sarah's dream, who's at the rail in third. Third, Bubbly Champagne figuring out where she wants to go, passing Bon Motti, who's called it a day. Free to Rome is at the rail. Rotundo trying to run home between horses. Wide on the course is Gossiper trying to rally from the back. Sudoku Terry with an inside lane. She draws within seven lengths of the lead. Three quarters, 111 and four, and they turn for home. Off cover, Gonzalez and Sarah's Dream now take the lead to the outside Bubbly Champagne, to the inside Dialific, then back to the outside Sudoku Terry finds her best ride and comes on next. They come past the eighth pole. Sarah's Dream has it by two now. Bubbly Champagne has rallied into second, trying to get third. Sudoku Terry. Sarah's Dream is in front. Sarah's Dream to win by two and a half. Bubbly Champagne second. Up for third from well out of it was Roseview. Then Sudoku Terry in 141 and two. Excellent start for Anheises, and the favorite is one of the first to break the line. In the middle, here's Broadcaster moving to take him on. Mitby got away in good shape. He's down toward the inside. Working out in the center is Vino for the queen. The early trailer is Taparino, and Heises is clear at odds on. And Heises and Edgar Zayas out of the shoot on top of length and a half. Second broadcaster. Five ahead of Vino for the queen. Out in the middle is Lila's lucky boy. Saving ground is Mitby, and at the back and on the improve is Taparino. 24-4 and four for a very reasonable opening quarter. Everything going the way of the favorite. And Heises, who goes to the half-mile point on top by two. Broadcaster is second from Taparino. He's the gray out in the middle. He just took third. Out the rail, Mitby is there fourth from Lila's lucky boy. And now the trailer is Vino for the queen. They went to half and a posted time of 48 flat, and they swing to the far turn. And Heises has the lead by a neck. Here's Broadcaster launching his bid under Ricardo Bracho in second. A gap of two and a half to Taparino. He's now third, driven at the rail is Mitby as they put on some speed with five sixteenths to go. Edgar Zayas nursing the speed of Anheises, but Broadcaster giving him all he wants on the outside second of the quarter of a mile remaining. These two have a big gap on the rest, led by Taparino and Mitby, and they're at the top of the stretch. Broadcaster powering forward on the outside. And Heises trying to fight him off with an inside lane. Well clear of Mitby, who's back to third. They come past the eighth pole. It's Broadcaster in front. And Heises is second, but his back's against the wall now. Broadcaster driven out. Broadcaster's 9-1, to one, and he's a winner. Broadcaster beats the favorite and Heises by a length and a half. Mitby closed a lot of ground to be third and 138-2.
and they're off. Good start out wide for Carson. Moving from between horses has gone nuts. Up to take the advantage. In between horses, Golden Skull is on the go. Moving out the rail, it's Ford Attitude. Back from between horses, it's Sovereign of Speed. Ahead of the race favorite, Double Play King. He comes away third last. Second last is Norphy. And the trailer is Camp Town Races. And the run to the half-mile point. The leader is gone nuts for double-seeking Sonny Leone on top by two. Second is Ford Attitude from between horses Golden Skull Carson. Out a bit deep on the course while on the improve. Two back to double play. King, he's dropped better than five or six lengths off the lead. Down at the inside goes Sovereign of Speed. Still well back, Camp Town races and Norfi. They have less than five sixteenths to run. The quarter was 22-2. and two. The leader is gone nuts by a length and a quarter. From the outside, Carson hooking to the far outside is Double Play King. From between horses, Golden Skull, then Ford Attitude. Off the turn and the stretch drive, gone nuts. He makes a bid to go all the way. He has the lead by two. Down the center and Double Play King tries to get after him in the concluding stages. Down at the inside, Golden Skull tries to fight him off for second as nobody's getting close to gone nuts. It's gone nuts in front. Gone nuts by four in the end. Double play king is up for second. Golden Skull third. Sovereign of Speed fourth. In one ten and four. Start for Tater Maid and Breezero. They're the first two to begin. Clay Soldier has inside position and races into third from between horses. And the Dove Rules looking for some clear racetrack. Then Pretty Keen out in the middle. Val's Gal. The early trailer is Foggy Note. And they run past the opening quarter with the advantage. It's Tater Made by half a length. Breezero's on the inside in second from the Dove Rules in third. Val's Gal races into fourth while wide on the course at the rail. Clay Soldier. Then it's Pretty Keen and Foggy Note. They run to the top of the stretch. The quarter was 22 and 1. Inside, Breezero. Outside, Tater Made. They're locked up heads apart. Two and a half to the rail and Clay Soldier together with the Dove Rules. Wander away from the back is Foggy Note. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Breezero tries to get away from Tater Made and still has separation on the others. Down the center and Foggy Note with a run. 16th to go. Breezero driven out by Jaramillo. Foggy Note with a leap push down the center. Breezero almost home. Foggy Note surging. The Dove Rules. Here's the wire. Breezero. Zero won it. Breezero for the money. It's close then for second. Could have been the Dove Rules with Foggy Note alongside. Then Tater made at 57 flat. away. Good start for the race favorite, Lady Rosette, taken on for the advantage by Cajun Anthem, driving through between horses, Wicked Legacies on the go. Apparel and Siempre Valiente in tight with no place to race. Up and by her goes for the thrill, then back to Lace Curtain, Lola Loca is last. To the far turn they go, the leader is Cajun Anthem in front by a neck. Wicked Legacy holds inside position and races on in second. Two back to four, the thrill, who's now third, Siempre Valiente is there fourth. 
Lady Rosette with work to do while racing fifth, six lengths off the in-battle duo. Then back to the rail, Pizzicato. Then on the inside, Lace Curtain toward the back of the group. With Lola Loca last of all, the quarter speed was 22-2. and two. They reached the top of the stretch a quarter of a mile from home. Cajun Anthem doing battle with Wicked Legacy. Wicked Legacy cuts the corner and still has the lead. Down the center and Cajun Anthem tries to get back on terms. Lady Rosette, Pizzicato, and for the thrill for minor placings. Final 16th of a mile. Lady Rosette begins the motor. Wicked Legacy needs the wire, but she'll find it. Wicked Legacy hanging on. Second, Lady Rosette. Third, Pizzicato. Fourth in a picture, either Cajun Anthem or for the thrill for the high five. 105 and 1. That's a wrap on the nine race Friday card. We'll be back with you a strong Saturday for you here in Hollandale Beach. 11 of them for you. And we hope to see you out here at beautiful Gulfstream Park.